Alternating bit here. We're gonna look at the on-car electronics universal event generator today. I have not seen uh, many demos online at all, especially in the 5U size. And I discovered today how to use the LFO mode uh, for the feature for version 2.0, um, where you can use the loop only mode. And that is what you just heard at the beginning, where the trigger out jack will output a trigger at every step of the loop if the step switch is set to step. To explain what we have going on exactly here, on the left side you have your time, which is your duration for each stage. So um, right now I'll show you the difference between that if I just make an adjustment. We're going to make this one longer. just completely skips it. Now what exactly are we hearing? Well what we have right now is this is basically generating everything we're, we're hearing right now um, with the exception of course that there's a VCO involved. We have a triangle output of a dot com oscillator okay that's going into that's why I framed it this way so you can see into this Oakley journeyman filter okay triangle wave is going into here the CV coming out from the universal event generator that's what is changing the frequency and resonance amount because the depth of that CV okay at the same time I'm using the trigger out so that it follows the exact same pattern and that goes into an envelope generator that's actually an Oakley ADSR so if you can look over here you'll see that the gate is also being dictated by the universal event generator see if I take that gate out not there anymore. If we heard it without a gate, it was just straight. I'll use a looping mode. You're still hearing, it's very similar, but not quite as um, punchy as with the gate. Which you can, of course, tighten. Okay, and so the right side is the level of CV coming out, which again is how much CV you're going to pump into this filter that we're using. So right now, it'll actually make it a higher pitch sound really because of the CV level going into the filter. It's really changing the frequency. Watch, I'll, I'll do it over here. too much time there for this rhythm that we're kind of had going so this is again the amount of frequency change which actually alters the pitch of the sound now it's a little bit too low to be audible now you'd also notice an extreme difference if I reduce the amount of CV going into the filter. This is the depth of the filter input. See, so without it, this is all you hear. This is basically bypassing um, the filter changes based on CV. So I can just open this up manually. mode that's why I want to go down here so anyway that's just a really cool thing uh, there's lots of flexibility here and of course you can ch change the the length of your LFO loop 
That's what these little lines are all for. I mean, when I first looked at this, I totally did not understand a single thing about it. Now, now that I figured out this loop function, I, I, I get it. Basically, these little lines, these three lines, tell you where you're going to start this loop. So right now, it's slipped to the top up here. So if we bring it down one, it's sort of start here now. If we bring it down one, it starts here. And same with the end. Right now, it's all the way opened. It goes down to seven. We can close it all the way up. And now we just have these two. So that this is your whole loop window. Whoops. Uh, I just hit that by mistake. This is your whole loop window here. So you can open that up a little bit more, have a little bit more, you know, variety in there. I always thought it was strange how when you're doing your typical eight step sequence that you only get seven on the right side for the level and then eight just, you know, disappears. You don't have that control. That really bothered me. But now that I've discovered the other uses for this module, um, I'm totally cool with it. <laughs> so anyway, so and here's how when you totally close it down, what happens? Because there's like no duration, right, going on open this up a little bit more just open up one little bit the slightest little uh, adjustment it becomes quite musical this with, through like a cathedral reverb just to have a little flavor to it you can also obviously plug it into the one volt per octave you can you know plug it into just an envelope and play with the envelopes in this case we're actually doing both we're controlling an envelope with the trigger out and the CV with the standard out okay so to take this one step further to demonstrate again musicality I'm gonna take that piece that I just ended with and take it a step further um, we basically adjusting a little bit on the dot com oscillator um, the pulse width and uh, add just a little bit of a kick drum and you know just to give you an idea again all this is all coming out from the UEG now as far as the tempo and what's you know what's flowing changing the sound all from the event generator so here we go
Beyond Core Electronics Universal Event Generator. This is Alternating Bit.